Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to represent the comments in shell scripting. So first let us open the Ubuntu. And here uh, in the shell script, we can represent the comments in two ways. One is the single line comments and the multi line comments. So first let us create a file uh, comments.sh. So here, just I will write a three statements, echo, hello friends, and the second line, echo, welcome to shell script. And third statement, thank you. So I will save this one. And as we have discussed earlier, first we need to give the permission for execution for this particular file. So by using the chmod, chmod plus ex, so comments.sh so now in order to execute use a, a statement or a command called dot slash file name dot sh so automatically we'll get all these three now we can apply the comments for these things so i will apply the comments on the first line right so if you want to apply the single line comment use the hash symbol starting at the instruction so if you if the line starts with the hash symbol that particular line will be treated as a comment and it will not be get executed by the shell. Now, if you observe, so I will execute this one so that only the second line and the third line statements go executed. The first line will not be executed because so it was kept as a comment, right? Now again, I will uh, create one more. So now we'll see the multi-line comment. Use the delimiter double less than symbols and give the identifier to represent a block of multi-line comments. So identifier can be any name. So I will use a comment and end the identifier to represent the block. So if I keep this comment here, these two lines will be treated as a comment and these two lines will not be get executed by the shell. So this is the way we have to represent the multiple line comment. This, that means if you are if you want to apply the comment for multiple lines, so then you need to use this delimiter followed by the identifier and at the end also you need to give the identifier and this identifier can be any name. So that identifier name given can be given by the user itself, right? Now you can observe, I will execute the statement so that only one line will be get executed. That is a thank you, the third line because the first two lines have been kept in a multi-line comment. So this is how we can represent the single line comment and multi line comment in shell scripting right so hope you enjoyed the session if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much